If you recall, I gave you a bit of an introduction to this, right? What we did was we had that idea of continuation. Do you remember what I was talking about when I said the word continuation? What was it trying to get at? Yeah, going above traditional dynamic. Yeah, very good. So you start, many ideas in maths, they start with one idea, one definition, and then you're like, oh, um, what if we want to go outside that definition? So one of the examples I gave was this. I said you start with a definition for this, and you know what it is, it's this times this times this times this, and then you end up one. But that definition somewhat contradicts that, which turns out to be really important for us in binomial theorem. That zero factorial comes up a heck of a lot, right? So we, ex it, we continued that definition, we extended it, um, there are other things you can do, by the way. For example, we extended to zero, but we didn't extend to say, for example, what's this? Right? Like, how would you define that? Or what about, um, you know, three and a, a quarter? Or how about, what about this one? That, what, what would that mean, right? Now, there are ways to extend the, and continue the factorial function in these ways. But we said, for trig, yeah, your calculator's not happy with it hasn't continued, obviously. For trig, we said we're going to start with the right angle triangle, uh, right angle triangle, and then we're going to continue the definition outside of acute angles. What was the tool that we used to do that? We used the unit circle. Fantastic. We're going to return to the unit circle today, but what I thought we might do is um, just start with like the most basic method. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you three methods for how to solve this. Uh, one of them is based on the unit circle, one's based on graphing, which is why I asked you about that before. And then the final way is actually the most common, but I think uh, the least useful in the long run. But it's the easiest to learn, so I'm going to go for that first. Here's the question. Sine theta equals a half, and they say theta has this restriction on it, this domain restriction. Now they have to put this restriction in, because if you get your calculator out right now, go ahead, get your algorithm. I'm going to do something a bit weird, and I'm actually going to tell you right from the get-go what the answers for theta are, but then I'm going to show you how to get there. How to get there is the important part. But this is what I want you to notice. Um, sine theta equals a half. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode in case you've lent it to someone else and it's not. And if you go sine of 30 degrees, okay, it should faithfully return to you a half. Okay? What that means is 30 degrees is a solution for theta. I can put it in. It satisfies the equation. It's not the only one, though. If you go ahead and you change 30 to 150, again, you get a half. So theta equals 150 degrees is another solution. But I can keep going. Change 150. This time, put in 390. And if you hit equals, it says a half. And then if you take uh, 5, hold on, I'm thinking. 510? If you put in sine 510, it says a half. And we can keep playing this game forever. In fact, there is an infinite number of solutions to this equation. Okay? You know when you get given an equation like this? There is one solution, and only one. Right? If I gave you an equation like this, there are two equations. If I gave you a cubic, there might be three, uh, sorry, not equations, solutions. There might be three solutions, but when you have a look at these guys, right, you'll get an infinite number of solutions. And that's why they say, okay, let's just, um, let's just look in this little narrow band. Let's just look at the solutions that you find there. And zero to 360 degrees is the most common restriction. Okay? So here's the way I'm going to go about it. I'm going to say, firstly, uh, here's, here's my first step. Find the base angle. Now, what does that mean? Okay. It means find the first solution to this. Do you have a question? Okay. Uh, yes, sometimes it's the acute angle, but I'm, I'm going to call it the base angle for reasons that will become clear in a couple of lessons. Because okay. acute angle is not always the best. You'll see why later. Okay. Um, so the base angle is kind of like the first solution I can find, of which I can build all the rest of those solutions. You know how I said to you 30, 150, uh, what did I say, 390, 510? 
what I'm doing is I know what the base angle is for this and I can I know how to build the rest of the solutions off that and I will show you how soon too. The way you get the base angle is you ignore the sign up here and I hope this is a bit sort of revisiony from last year. There's no sign at the moment, I mean it's a plus, right? You go to your calculator and you say shift sign of this number here. Okay? So you can go ahead, you can put that in, shift sign 0 0.5 or a half and it should hand back to you 30 degrees. Is that okay? So what we've done is I'm going to say the base angle is what I put into my calculator is this. By the way, even though it's exactly how you would read it, please don't say that's sine to the minus one. I would read that as sine inverse or inverse sine. If you want to be really fancy, you can call it arc sine, but we're not in the US, so I'm not going to do that. Um, sine inverse of this thing over on the right hand side. Wait, so uh -huh. can, you, can you write it like that? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, you have to be cautious with that. We're going to learn later on. This is a dangerous object. Um, you have to be very careful with it. So you can write it, but you'll see later on why I talk about why it's dangerous. You have to be why, why you have to be watchful. Okay. So this guy down here, I want you to know. Um, ignore the sign, right? So if, for example, I had up here sine theta equals negative a half, I would still put in this to find my base angle. Okay. So I'm just going to write here, and you should as well. Ignore the sign, and then that does hand back to you 30 degrees. 